The Al Nuri Mosque in Mosul, Iraq's second largest city, is where ISIL declared its so called caliphate in 2014. Famous for its leaning minaret or Al Hadba, as local people called it, it's been regarded as an icon for nearly 900 years. Leveled in the fight, soldiers and local people reject allegations by ISIL that the tower and mosque were destroyed by bombs dropped by the US led coalition. Now, piece by piece, brick by brick, Iraqis are putting it back together. Iraqi authorities and UNESCO aim to fully restore the monuments by next year. The main difficulties that we found at the beginning of the project was the, the rubbles. We removed, the, we removed about 5,600 tons of rubbles and also uh, about 11 IEDs. All of them was put inside the, the walls of the prayer hall. The other difficulties was to, uh, to restore and recover as much as possible from the historical pieces and to clean it, document it and archive it and save it in a safety way. Six meters below the surface, a prayer hall and ablution rooms. After debris and explosives were cleared, archaeologists have discovered what they believe to be the original mosque built alongside the minaret. One official described it as a rare ray of hope from the ruins. But this is only one part of Mosul's destroyed old city. It will take an estimated $100 billion to reconstruct Nineveh province's public spaces and heritage sites. But people here are still waiting for some of that money to arrive so they can restart their lives. And while they wait for promises made by donors and their government to materialize, young people are reclaiming Mosul's public spaces. This is what the Central Library of Mosul University looked like after ISIL fighters were targeted there. But students and staff risked their lives to rescue books, even pages. And now their building is back, with reminders of its recent past. There are now art displays, sections for discussions and computers for researchers. Dr. Saif still wants help from academics and international libraries after most of the one million items, including books, manuscripts and research papers, were destroyed. The idea was not just to restore it, but also to make it contemporary. Not just a book repository, but a minaret of knowledge. We aim to target all sections of society while concentrating on the youth, so everyone can benefit from the resources. Omar hopes the big mosque and his city will soon be rebuilt. And these children who remember the horrors of war hope people will live together in peace in the future. Osama Mujahid al-Dazira, Mosul.